Dear friends, conservative friends of Israel, you are indeed great friends of Israel. And I want to thank each and every one of you for your commitment to the great relationship between the United Kingdom and the State of Israel in these very days. Unparalleled, close relationship and friendship. I want to thank the leadership of CFI. I, want to, I won't mention all the names, but of course, our good friend Lord Pollack and all the other friends who are leading and steering the organization so beautifully, especially the parliamentarians in the crowd who are leading the relationship and the caucus in such a um, wonderful manner, a manner of friendship, understanding and collegiality. I was extremely impressed and happy to meet Prime Minister Rishi Sunak in the climate conference, COP27 in Sharm el Sheikh just a few weeks ago. Prime Minister Sunak is an outstanding leader. Already on the world stage, he's leading so many new ideas and innovations, proudly leading the United Kingdom in so many endeavors. And especially, I appreciate his commitment and friendship with the State of Israel. I invited him to visit us in Israel, and I look forward to seeing him in Israel. And as a new government will be formed in Israel in the foreseeable future, we hope to see the Prime Ministers meet together and work together for the well-being of our joint causes. There are many challenge, challenges in front of our eyes. Predominantly, of course, the Iranian threat, as we see Iran now supporting and supplying deadly lethal weapons against the people of Ukraine, spreading terror throughout the region and aiming towards nuclear weapons. All these are in to, uh, 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 quite considerable risks to the international community and the Middle East. The Abram Accords, which are showing a, a great promise and development in the region, unparalleled by any other uh, process. You, you see the close relationship between Israel, UAE, Bahrain, Morocco, and Sudan. Last week, I had the pleasure of visiting the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United Arab Emirates and a state visit, and it was just simply outstanding and very promising. And we must move forward with our allies, such as the United Kingdom. And of course, international threats from COVID to terror, as well as international opportunity from science, technology, education, space, and climate change. So all this together are what you will be discussing in your luncheon, the business luncheon. I want to thank all the supporters of CFI. I want to congratulate our wonderful ambassador, Tsipi Khotoveli, and wish you all great success and hope to see you all in Israel soon. Thank you and Shalom.